Hey everyone, Daniel Gilbert here, Chief Operating Officer at Kite Technology Group. And today we're talking about OneNote, which uh, you may already be familiar with. OneNote is the note-taking app included in Microsoft 365's cloud-based suite. Uh, and you may already be using it for note-taking, but the truth is it can do a lot more than just some basic note-taking. So what I wanna do today is show you some of those advanced features that can help you get a lot more productivity out of OneNote. All right, so to demonstrate, I created this demo notebook and I'm gonna show you a few things using this notebook. The first thing I'll just go over is how notes are structured. So you have three levels of structure. You have your notebooks, you have your sections and you have your pages. Your uh, every one note file, so to speak, is called a notebook. That's this name that you see here, Patty's Pub Demo. And across horizontal tabs are your sections. And inside each section is a set of pages. So a lot of people already know how to structure your notes. You choose the structure that works for you. But then to go a little further, you can color code these sections. So if you right click the section, go to section color, you can choose any of these colors that you want. Maybe um, what I want to do is just make all of my HR related tabs blue. Maybe I want operations to be red and I want marketing uh, to be green. This way you can keep related information in uh, the same color. Another tip that I'll show you is how to make sub pages. Sometimes you have pages that are related to each other. So I've got a couple pages to add. Uh, we had some performance issues with Charlie. So um, we had an incident in May, 2020. And then in June, uh, we did a performance improvement plan. So both of these pages are related to Charlie. So I'm going to just drag them up underneath Charlie. And then I can right click them and say make sub page. One more time, right click, make sub page. So because these pages are pertaining to Charlie, I've put them underneath my Charlie page so that related pages stay underneath Charlie. The next feature I want to talk about is called page templates. What page templates do is they're just a pre-formatted design that you're able to use and bring into new pages that you create for different purposes. So to get to page templates, I'm going to go to insert and click page templates. And it makes this pane appear on the right. And there are a lot of different templates in here. You can play around and see what they uh, look like to decide which one's best for you for your need. Right now, I'm creating a new staff meeting. So I'm going to go to business and I'm going to choose detailed meeting notes. I like this one. So it's got a little visual effect to it. You can see it creates a new page on the right, which you can rename. So I'm going to name this March 2022 drag it up here under my staff meetings. And then from here, I'm free to put all the information that comes out of my March 2022 meetings. This way I can keep uniform format throughout all my meetings. So this next one is kind of basic, but also can be really useful in certain situations. Uh, as you notice, notebook pages, and OneNote are completely white blank. Uh, some people like to have lines on their pages like notebook paper. So if you go to view and click this rule lines, you will see notebook paper style lines appear on your page. And uh, you can see the next couple lines that I type will actually be in line with the rule lines that I made appear. So this is really useful, by the way, if you're handwriting notes in OneNote, which you can do. Uh, I'm not on a tablet, so I'm not able to demonstrate that. But if you are handwriting notes, you can use the rule lines to keep from slanting your text. Or something else you can do is that you can enable grid lines. Some people like to have graph paper for different purposes. I'm going to switch back to my notebook style lines and whatever uh, rule lines you land on, if you like them, then you can go back to this menu and you can say always create pages with rule lines. This way 
if you create a new page, they automatically have rule lines enabled. A lot of times when you're using OneNote, you may need to open a different window while still having your OneNote page visible. And you can do that using a feature called docked window. So if you go to view, then you click new docked window, the page that you're working on right now pops out on the right. And then the original OneNote window stays on the left. I'm just going to minimize that because I can put whatever window I want over here now. And as I resize my page, the other side of the screen resizes for me. So in this case, I've got a browser window with Google and I'm just going to search um, whatever it is that I need to search. And this way I can do research or whatever it is I need to do on the left while still taking notes on the right. So maybe I want to grab an address for one of these stores and put it in my meeting notes. Another option that you have in OneNote is to be able to incorporate outside data into your OneNote, like Excel. That's what I'm going to demonstrate here. So you uh, can go to the Insert tab on any page and click the Spreadsheet button. You can use an existing spreadsheet uh, or a new one. I'm going to choose a new one. And it creates this box here where you can click Edit. I open on a different screen, but it opens an Excel window. And I'm going to copy in some data that I have from a different spreadsheet. And the great thing about this is that you can do things here that you'd be able to do in Excel, like formulas and conditional formatting. These are things that you wouldn't be able to do directly in OneNote, but you can do in Excel. So I can save this data. And then you'll see it's visible to me right here in the page. I never have to leave OneNote. So it can be useful if you have Excel data that needs to be included on your page and you can have it uh, directly beside some notes that you take. The next feature is a little bit tricky for me to demonstrate because it is including video and audio recordings in your OneNote. And it's tricky because I'm taking this video. I can't really demonstrate how the videos are recorded, but I can at least show you how to insert them. If you go to the Insert tab, you click Record Audio or Record Video, whichever you need. I just went ahead and did one of each before I started this video. So they appear as square icons with timestamps that tell you when they were recorded. And if you click them, you can play them and it just pops up a little video player. And this is useful if there's something that you can't really capture in text or would be better to put into a video or audio that you can include right alongside your notes. This next feature is gonna be especially useful if you take a lot of lists. So I have a list here that I've taken and I'm going to apply what's called tags that can be seen on the home tab over here in this section. I'm only going to work with these top three tags, although if you click the drop down, there are a lot more that you can play around with. Um, so for my list, I'm going to go through and mark each one of these items with an appropriate tag. So the first one is this one is clearly a question because it has a question mark. So I'm going to put a question next to it. And oh, down here is the total cost of my marketing initiative. So that's important. So I'm going to mark that with an important tag. Everything else in this list is something that I need to accomplish or somebody on my team needs to accomplish. So these are to do's. So you can see I'm just positioning my cursor anywhere on that line and click the tag that you want to apply. So the rest of these are to do's. Um, and now, that I've got all the items in my list tagged. I know what each one is at a quick glance. And for my to-dos, I can even come through and check them off as I've done them. OneNote can be a really great tool to use across teams. And if you are on a team and want to use OneNote, one of the things you're going to have to do is you're going to have to share your notebook. So to share the notebook, you go to File and click Share. 
and then you're able to share with whomever you want to share with. So I'm going to share with somebody inside my organization. You just click their name and then you click share. And it will send them an email with a link that they can click on and open the, the notebook on their own computer. This way you can collaborate with each other on your OneNote files. So what I'm also going to show you is when you share with people, you can see edits that they make that show up um, with these little highlights next to the part of the notebook that they that they edited. So here is an edit made by another one of my team members. You can also see all the edits if you go to review and click, I'm sorry, you have to go to history and click find recent edits. I'm going to look at the last seven days. Over on the right hand side, you can see all of the edits made to this notebook. And if you sort this by author, you can see who made the edits. So here's a list of all the edits that were made and the name of the team member who made them. So if you've shared your notebook with members of your team, you may still have information in the notebook that you want to keep private because it's sensitive information. And you can do that even if you've shared the notebook by using section passwords. So if I, um, in my case, I'm going to password protect the personnel section of my notebook. So I right click on that section and click password protect this section. It brings up this pane where I can click set password type in the password I want to use, and it puts a password on. So if I were to browse away from this screen and come back, it would be password protected. I'll show you what that looks like. So now I've left and come back to this notebook, and you can see this section is not available to me. The other ones are, but this section that I password protected is not showing any data. So if I click, it lets me type the password in. And if I do that, then it unlocks and lets me read and edit the data, but not until I entered that password. So if you have a section or, or multiple sections in your notebook that you want to password protect, you can do that and then only share that password with certain members of your team or with no one. And only the people who have the password can get into that data. And the last feature that I'll show you in OneNote is the export feature. This one you'll use when you get your notebook to a place where you have you know, finished writing your notes or you just are at a point where you want to uh, publish it and share it in some other way. So if you go to File and Export, you have the option to export either the current page that you're on or the current section that you're in or the entire notebook. I'm going to choose the entire notebook and you get a few different options for how to format your export. I'm just going to format it as a PDF and I'm going to click export. You would find where you want to save it and name it whatever you wanted to name it. That name is fine for me. And keep in mind, if you had password protected part of your notebook earlier, you will get this warning that says the save file will not be password protected. You can't have password protected data export to a PDF, it will, all the data will be visible. Keep that in mind. So if you click OK, it will export it. And then when it's done, you'll be able to open it just like you would any PDF. I have a lot of blank pages in here, but as we scroll down, you can see the real data that we uh, started to keep in other places in the notebook. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope that you've learned uh, something about OneNote. If you have any questions about anything you learned here today or about any other pieces of OneNote, we encourage you to reach out to our help desk if you are already a Kite Tech client. If you're not already a Kite Tech client, then please reach out to learn more about our services by emailing engage at kitetechgroup.com. All right, thanks everyone for watching. Take care.